talking about greatest summer boot camp, right? Whereas like that one wasn't really political. Was I mean, I mean that. that can you great. make that happen? <laughs> what? Raid of Summer Boot Camp. So <laughs> like, Raid of Summer Boot Camp is actually. I feel like it would help my nephew in like sports. <laughs> like, so be, like you gave him like another turn. Like, maybe he could do like maybe like just two to three weeks. Like, let me show you how deep this go. Right, Raid of Summer Boot Camp was a commercial that I wrote for the Fine Club on Guardian Radio in 2012, and I was like, I saw, I found it, and I was like should expand this like from a 30 second because mm-hmm. it literally is just a 30 like I wrote it like a read like you you're aware of what the fan club was it was yeah yeah it was a show it wasn't clearly as popular as this we didn't, <laughs> we didn't have anything printed um, but but it was like it was like a comedy show a comedy mm-hmm. talk show I, I like we own we never had an advertiser so at one point it's just like let's just make up fake advertisers and like like Use dragons, use jockeys, fish cookies, just random ish that like anybody listening should know this is not real. We got complaints because people no was like, you live? Show up no, it's real or Bahamas. not. <laughs> we live in the Bahamas. Right. And so Nassau specifically. Nah. One of the reads was read a summer boot camp and like now taking kids from blah, 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 teaching you like knifery and weird stuff. Like that. And so it was like, we just, exp- I just expanded that. What, what, what is so funny with the Raiders summer boot camp is that. And I'm not gonna call a gang's name because I I don't know how far they reach, but we they, can they say all have the internet the now. Gang. <laughs> but had this happened in let's say '95, that would have been so fucking controversial. Oh we yeah, wait, hold on, gang. wait. I actually we just got dead. like afraid for him just now. <laughs> <laughs> he said said like, whoa, 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 be safe. But no. now it's like. Raiders and Hoyas It's be, funny as fuck now like You know now why? Like, because all the people Who was in Raiders And Hoyas Are pastors now So like yeah. I mean let's be real <laughs> If you live Use, use a pastor right I mean, now No Yeah No for real Like if you If I you mean, like, like Wasn't dead yeah. Or in jail you Then you change your life around yeah. Right And like Literally Like your butt, Like do it Half of the pastors That we have right now Used to deal drugs And be in gangs Fox. I like they he ain't gonna lie, but your boy who run BCN Bombers Christian Network, he just get yeah, a visa you, after fifteen years. Not Dave Thomas, what's his name? Is it light skin to bear? No, you don't no, I am talking about um Dave Burroughs. Dave Burroughs. Dave yeah. Burroughs should sell drugs too, but it's like yeah. he stopped selling drugs a long time, but like you, Neil Ellis brother. Man, that is a great ex career to have. It's though. real talk though. I like, think Neil Ellis like ex brother out out nice used capital to be a drug base. dealer. Um what's his name, man? The guy who who in Abaco, Silbert Mills. Oh, yeah, you did say bombs. Accurate. Silver, right? Accurate, yeah. And, like, you have all these dudes, them, um, Hope Santa. Like, you just say 90 is a pasta? <laughs> Nin- <laughs> like, 90, I don't know if 90 is a pasta. But... 90 for Jesus. <laughs> 90% Jesus. <laughs> you all, like, New York of the 5%ers? Yes. 90%, 90% Jesus? Have, no, that's, 